So today we are making a vlog and it is gonna be done with the iPhone 15 Pro fully because I've never actually vlogged fully with an iPhone because in the past, the image is a little too sharp and the colors aren't that great. But as you know, now with the log option on the iPhone 15 Pro, the image is much more beautiful uh, to me. As much as I love making the product videos or review videos or tutorial videos, my favorite part about having the YouTube channel is actually building this small community. And the best way to engage and to cultivate that community is to make these casual vlogs. The first thing that we have planned for the day is we're heading to an event where there's a guest chef in town. Then I want to take you guys to a photography museum that just opened up. It looks really cool, yeah, right? Does. We've never been. It just opened maybe a month or two ago. And then as you can see, it is stupid cold here in Berlin right now. All of Germany, actually, it's snowed a lot in Germany for the first time in many, many, many years. And uh, so it's fully Christmas season now. It is. And there's a lot of Christmas markets that have opened up. So maybe we'll pop into one to give you guys a sneak peek. And then along the way, we have updates on the type of videos I'm going to be making that's coming to the channel and just some stuff that I think will be hopefully valuable to um, everyone in this small community because I think that in the end is the most important part is just providing some value to the people who have uh, decided to subscribe and spend their time on this channel. So let's head off to our first event. Okay, so we are at the first event that we are doing today. And as you know, Berlin's food scene can be pretty robust. And today at one of the more popular restaurants in Berlin named Frida, they are hosting a guest chef from London. And he's gonna be making his fav uh, famous, favorite, maybe it's his favorite. <laughs> he's making his famous burgers. Uh, and he's from the owner of a pub called Four Legs. So if you're from London, you know of it, then let me know if you've been, but we're super excited to check it out and we wanted to take you along with us. So admittedly, I don't know a lot about Ed, the head chef and owner of Four Legs, but Frida does really cool collaborations mm -hmm. with interesting chefs and culinary people. So we knew it'd be a cool experience. And the food looked amazing. The vibe in there is really dope. They were definitely running on their feet and a little behind, oh, yeah. but once they caught up, it was a smooth experience. Yeah. And in the end, what did you think of the burger? One of the best burgers I ever had. It was light, but it's so like such substance. Definitely. And I was looking up a bit about the pub and in time out someone had been to the pub and mentioned that the burger his burgers it's called like the dex burger cheese dexter cheeseburger it's like a supercharged big mac but without all the fuss and bullshit. and you said that even before you saw that article, saw that article. yeah it was perfect it was like a quarter pounder style the sauce the burger it was it was like a butcher style burger with like a good sear of mm -hmm. like a smash burger mm -hmm. so i thought it was a really Really? really great experience yeah. and i definitely when i go to london will go to that pub for sure yeah. so now we are off to our next location which is photographista our first time visiting Fotografiska mm -hmm. and it's pretty new but it's creating a lot of buzz for a reason yeah definitely I had no expectations of it at all but when I first walked inside I was pretty impressed mm -hmm. not only is the building preserved from 
what I believe is like an older building because the hallways, as you can see from the B-roll footage, is just covered in old stickers and graffiti mm -hmm. because it, there's no way that they did that from scratch. A lot yeah. of the paint yeah. looked old. And as you can see from the building behind me, I don't know if you can see, but way in the back there is like an old preserved building mm -hmm. attached to like a newer segment. And everything is very aesthetically beautiful from the mm -hmm. cafe to the bathrooms, to the, to the lobby area, to the shop. And what did you think about it? I also had no expectations. So it was just so beautiful. The exhibitions were stunning. Like, stunning exhibitions. So I wish I could show you a little bit more of the exhibitions, but I want you to hopefully come here and see it for yourself. But it was also, um, a lot of nude mm -hmm. photography, so I'm um, not going to be able to show that on the channel, but definitely come visit this place. It's a little bit expensive, yeah. 16 euros per person, but I think it is worth it. it is. Um, it's well kept, well staffed, and I think that's why the price is that. But coming here, it sort of leads me to thinking about how I want to do more creative projects, which I have planned for the channel. I also have a lot of um, products that have come in that I want to make videos for, especially if I like them. I have some tutorial videos with my color grading and um, my workflow because a lot of people have been asking me about that mm -hmm. and one other thing that I think is super interesting is um, I have some mics coming for the iPhone because one of the um, well two of the things that I find the hardest when vlogging with an iPhone is the audio hopefully this sounds good but also I can't see myself but what you guys can't see is right now I'm using a mirror door right behind me so that Katerina and I can check our framing yeah. but uh, that's pretty much it from here. And now we're going to be off to um, the next location, which is just checking out a quick Christmas market so that we can give you an update on some projects that we are working on personally. So Christmas markets are in full swing here. As you can see. As you can see, but we're doing a more in-depth video of that. Yeah, I wanted to not only visit all the... Visit? Visit? It's cold, sorry. Uh, visit all the Christmas markets so that people who are interested in it can visit and know which ones to go to because there's a lot to choose from. But while doing that, I wanted to really showcase the fact that a F4 lens, who people trash on all the time because they're just like, it's not a 1A, it's not a 2A. Even you see it all the time. Um, I want to show how actually capable it is even in low light. Yeah. So we're going to do that. But um, there's some more life updates that Kat, you want to take it over? Yeah, so we have an extended trip planned to Portugal. Yeah. Uh, we could call it, maybe you call it a vacation. Definitely. Yeah. And because we have some personal projects that we kind of need to be there for, but we don't want to say too much yet because we'll have to see if it all works out. Yeah, exactly. Way. I think some of these personal projects will be interesting to some of the audience here because I, like I said, I, my channel is at the core um, about creativity and lifestyle and it does have a heavy focus on camera and gears gears i never see that gear but um really it's about being able to express yourself as creatively as possible and being in portugal will allow us to do that we have the postcards video that i have made before so i'll link it up above i think that's pretty much it for all the updates mm -hmm. Uh, for the time being. Our podcast episodes are coming back up online very, very soon, but it's cold. As you can see, I can barely talk. Hopefully you liked Fotografiska and I hope you enjoyed this casual vlog here today. So if you did, uh, give it a like, share it with somebody, helps out the channel. Consider subscribing. I would love more people to join this community. And if you have any questions for us about anything you saw today, leave it in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. We're on our way home. Mm -hmm. And as always, live passionately and stay inspired. Bye.